Hi everyone. Artificial chromosomes fascinate us as these are man-made chromosomes inspired by naturally occurring chromosomes in living cells. They indeed serve as very special cloning vectors whose biggest utility and star power is that they are capable of accepting immensely large pieces of DNA and also get passed on from generation to generation with complete fidelity. This may be attributed to the presence of centromere in artificial chromosomes that invariably maintains them in exactly one copy per haploid cell just like any natural chromosome does. Artificial chromosomes are constructed in vitro keeping in mind the mandatory components of any normal chromosome such as a centromere within and a pair of telomeres at both ends of the chromosome which stabilize it. At least one origin of replication keeping them autonomous or independent of the original genome. At least one selectable marker for screening and selection purpose and a multiple cloning site for the purpose of inclusion of the foreign DNA. Of these, the marker and the origin should obviously be compatible with the host cell of which the artificial chromosome is going to be a part of. Examples of artificial chromosomes include yeast artificial chromosomes YAX, bacterial artificial chromosomes BAX, P1 Farge artificial chromosomes PAX and mammalian artificial chromosomes MAX. Among MAX, the human artificial chromosomes HAX are also included. They are capable of accommodating inserts in the range 150 to 2000 kilobase pairs. These chromosomes, also referred to as mini chromosomes, are constructed from host compatible components, namely a centromere and a pair of telomeres actually picked from the natural chromosomes of the relevant host systems. Bags can be circularized and inserted into bacterial cells, hence they must have a bacterial origin and antibiotic resistance genes. The flexibility and large carrying capacity of artificial chromosomes makes them most useful for sequencing the bulky genes of higher organisms with remarkable accuracy and ease. BAC is an engineered DNA molecule used to clone DNA sequences in bacterial cells, for example E. coli, which stably stays in the bacterial cell and subsequently in all of its daughter cells. It is made by using a starting material from F plasmid, which plays a crucial role because they contain partition genes ensuring fair distribution of genetic material during cell division. Bags can usually handle insert size of around 150 to 350 kilo base pairs. The original back vector PBAC108L is based on a mini F plasmid PMBO131 which encodes genes essential for self-replication and regulates its copy number inside a cell. A similar cloning vector called PAC has also been produced from the DNA of P1 bacteriophage. BAC based DNA libraries have been behind the success of a number of genome projects including those of mouse, Arabidopsis thaliana, a number of pathogenic microbes and of course human genome project. Gene context was sequenced after loading onto these vectors and finally rearranged in silico to decode the entire genomes. Yeast artificial chromosome or YAC is an engineered DNA used to clone and stabilize DNA sequences in yeast cells. Autonomously replicating sequences or ARS of natural yeast chromosomes are picked and used routinely as the origin of replication in YAKs. These chromosomes are often used in connection with mapping and sequencing of genomes. Segments of an organism's DNA up to 1 million base pairs in length can be inserted into YAKs. Jeff Boak of New York University reported successful 
in vitro synthesis of a Saccharomyces cerevisiae artificial chromosome. Mammalian artificial chromosomes represent a viable approach for delivery of massive genes in a mitotically stable and host genome independent manner. Hex facilitate the delivery of more DNA including promoters and incorporating copy number variation than is possible with viral vectors. Construction of Hex was attempted at Ohio after the success and usefulness of Bax and Yaks was established. These seemed very promising and potential laden, particularly for applications like gene therapy, since the use of synthetic chromosomes, if functional, could prove much more powerful than technologies like viral mediated gene transfers. When we say that artificial chromosomes can accommodate larger inserts, the actual fact is even mightier than this. The larger the fragments cloned into artificial chromosomes are, the stabler these chromosomes keep getting. They behave just like an extra natural chromosome that is are maintained in a single copy per haploid cell and are segregated faithfully into the daughter cells due to the presence of a centromere. Artificial chromosomes come real handy when the insert is impossibly big to be loaded onto a plasmid or a phage vector. They are very useful in preparing more meaningful genomic libraries also as the individual genes are saved from getting truncated thanks to their big loading capacity. So guys, we sincerely hope that this simplified description of artificial chromosomes was interesting and useful. Keep learning and enjoying. We thank you for being a great audience always. Bye till next time.